Hey there, I'm Mike Costio, trendologist at Data Central, and today we just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we have in store for you at Foodscape this year. So we put the schematics for the space up on our big screen here in the 12th floor lobby. This is everything that we have in store in the Eat the World Culinary Theater. So down here, we can't even fit it on the screen. We actually have a big theater space where you're gonna see all that content that you know and love from Foodscape. It's uh, sustainability, it's about algorithms, personalization, all of that is down here. But up here, we have something brand new in store for you. So this year's space is five times the size of what we had last year, over 100,000 square feet. So if you went on one of the immersions last year where we took you all over the city and we showed you the cool restaurants. This year we're doing that in the space itself. So I just want to show you some of what we have in store for you. So you walk in the door right here, you see a giant 20 foot earth, uh, right, you know, welcoming you into the space. Move up to the left here and we have the petting zoo. So there's domestic animals, things like goats and chickens and pigs, but then we have some wild animals in there as well that you can hold and take pictures with. Sustainable farm, you're gonna see hydroponics, aquaponics in action. We're gonna take some of the lettuce that we're growing and actually make food for you right there. Spirits of the world is one of my favorite sections. It's actually spirits from each of the seven continents. So we have uh, vodka that it's actually made with Antarctic glaciers. So every single continent uh, in a spirit right in this area. The backyard area, so when you come from all that content and you just wanna relax and hang out, this is where you're gonna go. We're gonna have cornhole, we're gonna have all kinds of games, giant Jenga. We're also gonna have beers from around the world that you've never got to experience before. You can make some mores in this area as well. Tropical fruit jungle, another one of my favorite areas. It's an actual jungle we're building in the space itself. You walk through, we have crazy fruits that you've never seen before. We're gonna open them up for you. Uh, you get to taste it. We have a tiki bar in there where we're actually using that fruit to make drinks for you. Frozen food igloo. It's an inflatable igloo with dry ice coming out of it. And we have uh, frozen foods from around the world. So Booza, Donderma, that Middle Eastern ice cream that we're always talking about, that's gonna be in there. We'll have cool paletas. Uh, we'll have Pat Bing Su, the Korean shaved ice dessert. That's all in here. Robots and technology, this is a dedicated area for that, but we're gonna have them all throughout the space. If you know Foodscape, you know we love robotics, you know we love technology. It's all gonna be represented here. Over here, we have a cheese and hot pepper station. You can actually test your limits in these two areas. So for cheese, you can start with the mildest cheese and go all the way up to the funkiest, most ammonia cheese that you can imagine. And then when you go to the hot pepper station, you're gonna start with a mild pepper and go all the way up to the hottest hot pepper that you can stand. African soups and stews. We have some awesome African operators here in Chicago. We're gonna bring them in and they're gonna make soups and stews right in the space itself. The Fusebiquity Sauce and Spice Station. So if you know Data Central, you know, you know Fusebiquity that's combining you know, the really inception and adoption level flavors with comfort foods that you know and love. So you get to do it right here. We're gonna have sauces and spices that you haven't seen or heard of before that you can put on popcorn and put on pizza. Ahead of the trends, if you're ahead of the trend subscriber, this is a special lounge area just for you. We're gonna do some cool experiences in there. If you're not an ahead of the trend subscriber and you want access to that, let us know and we'll get you signed up. Fermentation station, anything fermented is in this area. So we have kombucha, mix your own kombucha right there. Uh, we have a kraut guy, his name is literally the kraut guy here in Chicago. He's gonna teach you how to make kraut and kimchi. And then we have some really, really crazy stuff that uh, I'll let you see when you get there. Global bakery area. So we're gonna bring in a Mexican panaderia from Pilsen, the Mexican neighborhood here in Chicago. They're gonna rebuild it here in the space and take you through all of the different baked goods that you would see in a panaderia. Then we also have a Middle Eastern bakery in there as well. Uh, this is the data central area. You can play with our tools, learn about our products, uh, and actually dive into some of the tools that we have uh, that we're gonna announce at Foodscape. Uh, I'll save this the best for last, but let's actually move down here to the, so this is like an Asian night market area. It's actually dark draped off. And when you walk in here, we're gonna have all those great expo tables that you know and love from the previous foodscapes with retail products, you know, next level stuff. Uh, they're gonna be there. They're gonna be all throughout the space as well. Here's the global bar. So there's gonna be alcohol throughout the entire space, uh, but this is kind of a dedicated area for that. So we're gonna have a bar area where depending on which stool you sit on, you get a different experience. If you sit at one, you get to learn the art of a Japanese highball. 
Um, there's a, a global cider bar here where you actually get to gauge your global cider palette. So if you don't know what types of ciders from around the world you love or um, that kind of fit your palate, we're gonna do that with the operator here in Chicago called the Northman. So uh, you get to taste some of their cider and then they'll let you know, hey, you like something sweeter? You'd probably like this French cider that's on the sweeter side. Uh, also really cool wines in this area from around the world, from growing regions that you probably don't associate with wine, and then more beer from around the world, uh, specifically from Asia in this area as well. We have a big dumpling and noodle station in this area, uh, four different dumpling and noodle operators. There's uh, one of the best uh, dumpling operators from Chinatown here in Chicago is coming in. We have slap noodles there. Uh, you're gonna see all kinds of cool stuff in that area. And then we also have a skewer station. So you get to make your own skewers and we're gonna grill them right in that area for you. This area, we're actually bringing in eight different operators from uh, not just Chicago, but from actually around the country uh, because we want you to meet these chefs and see the cool things that they're doing. There's one that we're gonna bring in. It's actually a husband and wife team. Uh, the wife is from Indonesia, the husband is Creole, and they combine those two heritages together uh, in their cuisine. So you get to talk to the chefs and see, uh, you know, what goes into the thinking behind their food. As we move out here, uh, so if you were at Foodscape last year, you may remember the underground which was that cool VIP area where we had things from the actual underground, so crickets and insects, and then any of that mildly hallucinogenic food. So if you had the kava, you remember that. So this year we're taking it in a new direction and it's gonna be any of the really, really funky foods. So if you've heard of durian, if you've heard of balut, that's gonna be in this area. Uh, you may gag a little bit in here, but you'll definitely uh, push your limits. This is actually kind of how Foodscape, uh, the Eat the World Global Culinary Theater started, which is this three tent area. So these are actually three tea tents and we're bringing in tea experts who are going to do tea ceremonies for you. So if you walk in this one, you do a Chinese tea ceremony. If you walk in this one, you do a Russian tea ceremony. And then this one, uh, I'll keep as a surprise for when you get there. And then right down the center of the space, we have this massive come together table. It's, uh, I'm, I cannot, you know, reiterate how big this space is. It's absolutely massive. And this table runs through the entire center of it. And at one point, we're gonna have the world's longest charcuterie board here. We have a stage in the middle for even more exciting content that pops up at any given time. Uh, but this is where at the end of Foodscape, we're all gonna to come together and have a meal. So this is the Eat the World Culinary Theater. This is in addition to everything uh, that's in the actual event space itself, all of that content you know and love. Um, I'll be on stage again talking about next generation flavors. We'd love to see you at Foodscape. Uh, there's been nothing like this in the industry. It's like no other conference, no other expo you've ever seen. Hopefully I'll see you at Foodscape this year. Thanks.